Hey everyone, Anthony Labella here with a new video series for Game Revolution. Uh, as I record this, it has yet to be titled officially, but we'll put something together by the time the video goes live. And this series involves me taking a look at some older games because the best way to fight a summer drought is to remember some of our favorites from days past. And for this pilot episode, I'll be playing Earthbound, a 1995 JRPG for the SNES. It was developed by HAL Laboratory and led by series creator Shigesato Itoi. And it is actually the second game in the series. Um, in Japan, it was released as Mother 2, but in the US, they released it as Earthbound. And it did not catch on in North America. I believe it sold roughly 150,000 copies, which is not great. That's about half of what it sold in Japan. But it definitely has a cult following over the years. It's gained many fans, uh, many big supporters. It actually goes for about $150 to $200 on eBay for a physical copy. Uh, even more if you get the full package with the box and everything. But last year, Nintendo finally released it on the eShop, on the Wii U eShop. And that is the version I am playing today. I have played some of Earthbound, but I never beat it and I never owned it. So I'm hoping to play through the entire thing over the next month or two. Uh, but today, we're going to take a quick look at the game and talk about it a bit. And I feel like the opening of the game demonstrates why people love this game so much and demonstrates some of its unique qualities. So we're going to jump right in. I started the other day, but didn't play much. Just the first few minutes. As I said, we're still at the opening of the game. And as you can see there, our protagonist is Ness. He may seem familiar. Even for those of you who are not familiar with Earthbound, he is found in the Super Smash Bros. series. So even though Earthbound is a niche title, for whatever reason, Nintendo decided let's put Ness in Super Smash Bros. Um, well, let's let's actually start playing. So I have Pokey behind me. We're helping him out right now. We're helping him find his brother. A meteorite has landed near Ness's house. And we are now investigating. I have my trusty dog, Sparky, behind me as well. And now we are fighting this coil snake. He got the jump on me, so he gets the opening attack. Um, so as you can see there, the enemies are shown on screen. And I always appreciate a JRPG that lets you see the enemies on screen. So you can try to avoid fights if you want to. Or find fights if you want to. And Pokey acted all innocent. So... Even in the battle system, you get an idea of what makes Earthbound somewhat unique. It's very quirky. It's very atypical for the genre. Pokey's smiling and sincerely, because why not? So Pokey is not actually part of the party in terms of fighting. He can't, he can't help me fight, but, uh, but he does do things like smile and sincerely. Very useful. Alright, we defeated that Coil Snake, so like any JRPG, you get experience and items as you win fights. Gained one experience there. So we're trying to head to the meteorite, the site of that meteorite, uh, in order to find Pokey's brother. Oh, and there's a stray dog. So this is, st uh, we're getting in a lot of fights here to start off, but that's good. Gives you an idea of the combat system. Um, you also have abilities called Psy, or I believe it's called Psy. Um, the only one Ness has right now is Life Up, so I can heal myself, which I may do in a moment. But for now, let's bash this dog. Oh yeah, Sparky. Dog on dog fighting. Alright, I'll try to kill the dog and then heal after the fight. Pokey used Ness as a shield. Wonderful. Alright, four experience. That's a little bit better. Better than the one I was getting for the snake. So, you can go in here and use your abilities outside of combat if you have something like life up. It costs five PP power points. I'm not sure what that stands for. Uh, so now I'm running low. I'm all maxed out on health, but I am low on PP, which is not good.
Alright, Spiteful Crow. I'm not sure why he's so spiteful, but... Teach his own. Again, even the even the dialogue we're seeing here in the in the battles, it's not what you normally encounter in a JRPG. Uh, and I'm hoping we get to some in-game dialogue pretty soon here. I know we're going to meet an important character soon that will uh, that will show off some of the game's personality as well. And this game takes place in Eagle Land, which is fashioned after the United States for all intents and purposes. And we are in the town of Onet. Although I'm not sure if it's pronounced Onet because the second town is Tucson, and then there's Threed, and then Foreside. So maybe it's pronounced Oneit. Not entirely sure. They're going for a numerical theme with the town names. Nice job, Sparky. And I think a lot of the quirkiness of the game uh, deals directly with the localization. So when it was translated to English, they had to make a lot of changes for copyright reasons. Um, for example, the, there's the Coca-Cola logo, or what looks like the Coca-Cola logo at some point, I believe. Um, they tried to avoid something to do with the Red Cross. Uh, there's a theater called Topolo Theater that sounds like Apollo Theater, so they changed that. They removed all Superman references. I think it's just, they just refer to superheroes instead. Um, all religious references were removed, or most of them were. So they had to make a lot of changes from the Japanese to English version. Um, which accounts for some of the... some of, Like I was saying, some of the quirkiness of the game. I, that's the best word I can think of. And Ness is now level 3. Alright, offense up by 2, defense 1. My guts went up by 1. Vitality by 1. I'm not sure what guts involves, but I'll take it. Alright, we should be getting close. Uh, there's this guy here. What's his name again? Hey, Ness. I was too busy to investigate, but I heard a child's voice on the hilltop. I'm a busy man, but when I do a job, I do it well. I'm a man's man. Right there, I'm a man's man. What? What is he even talking about? I was trying to read the sign. Check. Treasure Hunter. This is Lear X. Agar Agarate's house? So I guess that's Agarate. Agarate? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And I believe that is Pokey's brother up there. There's the meteorite. Uh oh, Sparky. Sparky senses something. If I knew this was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. So, we can somehow get into Sparky's head and know his thoughts. He's not actually talking, but that's what Sparky thinks right now. So he's leaving. What? Oh, you woke me up. Why are you sleeping out here? Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad that you're okay at least. Let's go home now. I bet Mom and Dad are worried sick about us. Jeez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. Alright, Picky, Pokey's brother, has joined us. Although I'm still wondering what this is about. Ness, do you hear a buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around? Okay, we're about to meet new character here. I do hear it. Actually, I don't hear it, but I'm going to say yes. Yes, you can hear it. Alright, this is going to be our trusty friend Buzz Buzz, I believe his name is. There he is. 
A little bug right there. A B I am not. I'm from ten years in the future. And in the future, all is devastation. Gygus, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says, when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Ness. This, I believe. Gygus, monstrous plan, must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gygus. Three things are of the utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. The legends from ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygus. I will tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Ness. Did you listen to what I told you? I did. I even read it out loud. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as exceptional as I expected you to be. So, in the world of Earthbound, if you listen to a story for a really long time, you're exceptional. So those of you reading all our stories on Game Revolution, you're exceptional individuals. Buzz Buzz now joins you. Ness, it looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said? Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? Cause I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart is almost pounding right out of my chest. Yeah, Pokey, Pokey wants no part of this. I, I understand it. I also love his face. That's pretty great. You have anything new to say? Ness, buddy, I have something to tell you, and only you. Can you come visit me later, alone? Okay, I can do that. Actually, is he? So when I play RPGs like this, I like to exhaust all of my dialogue options. So I just want to make sure... Okay, he's repeating himself. We can move on. So a sequel to this game was going to be released uh, for the N64 called Earthbound 64. And it was going to be released uh, for the 64DD, which was a... A peripheral thing that you attach to the N64 that um, allowed for expanded data storage but it was only released in Japan because it was a commercial fail failure and Earthbound 64 eventually was cancelled as well so that never saw the light of day speaking of light it's been a long time Buzz Buzz you've been successful at foiling Master Gygus's plans but Buzz Buzz you must now surrender you're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. That's great, I'll stomp you hard. Some quality dialogue in this game. And this is Starman Jr. I want to say he makes an appearance on the cover of this game. Although I could be wrong about that. Uh, let's attack. I, I assume I am supposed to lose this fight. Again, I have played some of this game before. I want to say roughly five or six hours. But, I do not remember everything about the opening of this game. Oh, at least, at least Picky attacks. Tried to use fire. But luckily Buzz Buzz is helping me out with the shield. Buzz Buzz's psycho shield made fire disappear. Okay, so Buzz Buzz is helping us out here. All I can do is bash him. Whoa, 150. If only Buzz Buzz could join us for the entire journey. Something tells me a guy who does 150 damage in the opening hours does not stay with you. He is chanting a magic spell. Okay. Seventy-five 
77. All right. I was not supposed to lose that then. S gained 16 experience. Pretty good. Ooh, I was taking a big chance there. He came from 10 years in the future to kill me, so we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gygus, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent, due to Gygus' influence over the evil in their minds. It is the truth, so listen! Alright, I believe you, Buzz Buzz. Calm down. Uh, I think we should drop off Pokey at his house. Uh, here, oh, look at that woman's face. Oh, that is terrifying. Is, is that their mom? Oh, boy. Where in Sam Hill have you boys been? I'll have to think of a suitable punishment. And that's the dad. He also has a unique face. <laughs> I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now. Uh-oh. <laughs> They're running off. They know what to do. Wait. I think... I think some bad stuff happened up there. By the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. You've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been a hundred thousand dollars or more. Well, I guess it really could have been less. But because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finish last. That's the story of our life. Ah! I think it's a dung beetle. I'll smash your guts out. Oh no! Buzz Buzz! I think, uh, I think Buzz Buzz is in trouble. Oh no. I was... Much weaker than I thought. So you can beat Starman Jr., but you cannot escape the wrath of a of an angry mom. So you must now begin your adventure. See you. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gygus, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near on it. It is called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? All right. You are a very intelligent young man, and... Oh, the pain! Everything is getting dark. Uh, before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is the Sound Stone. You can record the melodies from the eight Your Sanctuary locations into this stone. It is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone. Did you want to hear the story one more time? <laughs> can we just keep saying yes? And does he stay alive forever? I have to know. I I'm going to say yes. Oh, he's just going to say the same stuff. Okay, I'm, so <laughs> I'm sorry to all the viewers. I was wondering if you would say... I was thinking he'd repeat himself and then just die in the middle of his speech. Yes, I do. I just wanted to hear that I'm a very intelligent young man multiple times. I hope the music's coming through all right in the video because there is some quality music in this game. It's already dawn outside, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Poor Buzz Buzz. Ness got the soundstone. And he's gone. You monster! You monster and you with your makeup. It's a lot of makeup. My husband is very soft-hearted. I don't know. I, I have a feeling he was really scolding the children up there. My dad really got after me. He said I get no dessert for the rest of the decade. That would be the worst punishment ever as a small child. No dessert for a decade? I'd, I'd run away from home. I don't know about you guys. 
I don't want to look at the meteorite anymore. Okay. Fair enough. All right, let's head back to Nessa's house, which is right next door. <laughs> I love how they loaned my dad a hundred thousand dollars, or maybe less. Why would they? Why would they loan that much money? Oh, whoa, hello. Where did you come from? Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera, ready? Say fuzzy pickles. Fuzzy pickles. What a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. So, that's a pretty famous line, fuzzy pickles. Again, I don't it makes no sense to me, but sometimes you just have to embrace the insanity. So, in this game you save your progress by calling your dad on the phone, which is also wonderful. So, let's call dad. He also deposits money into your bank account, which is how you essentially gain money from random encounters. Uh, you go to the ATM and take out money. I have $85 in the bank. Let's go ahead and save it. Alright, Dad's going to bed, even though... Well, we don't know where he is, but where I am right now, it is morning, so I'm not sure why he's going to bed. I'm going to continue. All right, what does mom have to say? You're back. Don't bother yourself with talking now. You look too tired. Mothers understand these things. Eat some pizza and scoot up to bed. So at the beginning of the game, it asks you your favorite food item. And pizza is easily my favorite food item, so I had to select pizza. I'm not sure what the default selection is. In fact, it might be pizza. I'm not sure. But pizza is actually my favorite food. Heck, I'll even eat pizza for breakfast. I don't care. Any time of the day. And this is my sister. Oh, it's my line now? Oops. Uh-oh. Yes. What do you want me to do? Okay. Uh, so she can store items. I don't think I have anything I want to store with her right now, so... Just move right along. Good morning, Sleepy Bones. Are you ready to start your adventure? I'm so proud of you. My little man is growing up too fast. Aw, Mom. So sentimental. I don't want to go out anymore. I don't care if everyone thinks I'm a stubborn mutt. <laughs> okay. So I guess... Let's go outside and see if anything happens. Okay, there's still enemies out here. Um, what's my health looking like right now? Uh, I'm all... Looks like I'm all healed up. So... Well, Buzz Buzz told me to go to the next town. So let's see if I can go to the next town. And then we might call it there. Just wanted to take... Uh, these videos will just be quick looks at each game. Maybe 20 to 30 minutes. And I'm not entirely sure how long I've been going here. But it seems like we're nearing the 20 minute mark. And now I don't have Sparky, though. Can I get Sparky to come with me? Do, can I keep talking to him and convince him? Or is he going to continue to be stubborn about it? I'm going to try one more time. I could use his help. Come on, Sparky. No. Fair enough. I have a lazy dog. Okay, so which way have I not gone? I don't think I've gone this way. I assume that's the way to the next town.
Another thing I like that they include is the auto fight ability. So if you happen to get into a fight in which, oh, he stole my bread roll. Stupid crow. Okay, anyway, uh, the auto fight option's nice if you're, you know, in an easy fight that you don't want to spend time selecting separate commands for. Just click auto fight, let it do its thing. Although I'm having trouble with this crow. There we go. Um, I think also if you level up enough and you encounter lower level enemies, they run away from you. So you don't have to keep repeating fights that are really easy. You can avoid them, which is also nice. So again, a lot of, a lot of atypical elements to this game, at least for the JRPG genre, which is why I think it holds up well. I know a lot of people who came to this game much later in life and uh, still enjoyed it, and I'm hoping I enjoy it just the same when I play through the entire thing. Uh, yeah, I at least know the opening hours are really strong, so. A library is a nice place to learn stuff. Got a lot of info about Earthbound. You can borrow maps for nothing. That sounds like a pretty sweet library, let's check it out. Hi! Kids can borrow only maps at this library. You want to borrow one? Uh, yeah. Here's a map. On it isn't the only thing on the map. All the info is there, except for the info that isn't there. Pressing the X button allows you to view the map at any time. How convenient! You know, the X button located near the top? Oh, uh -huh. meta humor. Okay, Ness got the town map. Let's check it out. There we go. We have a food shop nearby, another food shop down there, hospital, hotel, all that good stuff. Oh, what, why, why is this guy wearing a mask? He looks kind of like a serial killer, if I'm being honest. A giant step, there's a monster guarding that spot from the outside world. No one knows when the monster made giant step its territory. I wonder if he's stronger than my wife. That's a... It's a good question, you know? This guy's getting really philosophical on us. A man, a few words. It's useless talking to him now. Yeah, he's definitely a serial killer. I'm, I'm convinced. I think these characters give you tips about the game, if I remember correctly. I'm cramming for the big test tomorrow. It's about games. Hotel rule. You stay at a hotel, you'll wake up with full HP and PP. Life recovery rule. Recovering your life will give you full HP, but zero PP. I bet this stuff will be on the test. Okay, so I should go check out the hotel. He has nothing to say. Recently, I sensed the presence of UFOs flying around. Or am I just dreaming? I don't know. Could be a dream. Although I met an insect named Buzz Buzz from 10 years in the future, so maybe there are UFOs, what do I know? I recently read a book titled Our Convenient Society. It said that our modern society demands that there always be an ATM in hotels and drugstores. Just knowing that is convenient. I'm glad I read the book. I can't believe I didn't know this stuff. I'll check whether or not we have an ATM in our drugstore. I read the book called Our Society is Convenient. <laughs> it's said that these days there are always telephones in hotels and drugstores. I always learned that to use green pay phones costs a dollar, while the black phones are free. If you weren't aware of this, all your money could get eaten up by your phone calls. I'm glad I read that book. Good things to know. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and check out the hotel, call dad. Maybe uh, withdraw some money from the ATM, and I think we'll call it there. I think this gives a a good impression of what Earthbound is all about, at least as much as you can in 20 minutes. Uh, really unique sense of humor, very quirky, unusual. Maybe not for everyone, but I really enjoy its craziness. It at least makes me crack a smile even when I'm not laughing which is always a good thing. 
Uh, and it's a breath of fresh air from some of the JRPGs I would play as a child, the Final Fantasies and whatnot. Alright, let's, uh... I have $93. I'll take out... I'll take out 50 Leave some money in there. Try to be a responsible adult. Although, Ness is a child, but you know what I mean. And now I will call Dad. Oh, you can also call Mom. What does Mom have to say? Is that you, Ness? You called me back sooner than I thought. Everyone here is doing just fine. Oh yes, Tracy started working part-time for Escargo Express. Here, I'll let you talk to her. Okay, so... Now I can call, uh... My sister in order to... Uh, give her items and take items. I don't have to keep going to Tracy. Back to the house to actually see her in person. Oh, is that Eunice? Big bro! That makes me think of Persona 4. Aniko. Big bro? It's me, Tracy. I'm working part-time for Escargo Express. What can I do for you? I don't need anything right now. Okay. Now we'll call Dad. What? Oh. Talk to. Yes, it's your dad. And in the time I... Between the time I withdrew money from the ATM and went to the phone, he gave me another $8. Ness's dad's pretty awesome. And I've also... I'm also close to the next level, that's good. Alright. So that's a look at Earthbound. Again, I'm a fan of the game, what I've played of it, and I look forward to playing through the uh, entirety of the of the game. Um, you guys feel free to let me know what you think of Earthbound. I know, Again, I know there are a lot of very devoted fans to Earthbound. It has a cult following. Uh, people who like the game really like the game, so I'm sure there are some people at Game Revolution who really enjoy this game as well. So let me know your thoughts. Um, I also take all... All, uh, all feedback, so if you have any critiques or suggestions about this video series, feel free to let me know. Uh, I will definitely take a look at that. I'm also open to suggestions in terms of games. If there are certain games you want me to take a look at, you know, no guarantees. It depends on what I can gain access to, but uh, I will take a look at that as well. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I should be back next week. I'm looking to make this a weekly series, so I'll be back a week from now with another game. I still have yet to decide what that will be, but I will see you guys soon. Thanks again for watching. Take care, everyone.